In this lecture, we'll be taking a look at how we can display the data from the API on our web page using the React template. So the first thing that we have done over here is we have made a bit of change. That is, we are now returning I action result. And over here at the bottom, you can see we are returning a JSON data set that's a return JSON. And then we are passing the list customers over here. So that being said, the next thing that we are doing is over here in app.js, you can see we have said import customers from components customers and this customers component we have created inside this directory src components and then we have this customers.js now we'll be coming on to this one in a moment after importing the next thing that we are doing is we are adding it to the route collection over here as you can see so this is the path which will invoke this component customers that we have created inside the components directory now Next thing that we are doing is inside our nav menu.js file, we have added one more nav item. So customers will now be part of the header bar. And there when you'll click on this customers link, it will be taking you to the customers route. And from there, it will call the customers component. Now coming to the customers component, you'll notice that we have a state attribute where we have a collection customers and loading. And then we are calling the customers list using the fetch API. So we are saying API customer customers. And soon we receive the data, we are assigning the customers state. And then we are also updating loading to false. Here at the bottom, you'll see we have a render method. And this render method is basically checking whether the loading is set to true or false. If loading is false, then we'll be calling this customers dot render customers table. And this is the state that we are passing as parameter to this method. Now inside this method, you'll notice we are generating a table. And this table basically contains all these columns, name, city, state, country, email. And then the state that we have passed will contain the collection of customers and we are mapping through it. And each row will be printed with the values like name, city, state, country, email. You'll notice that the key attribute has been assigned as customer ID. The key attribute needs to be unique and that's the reason we have assigned customer ID as key value to this row. Now, when we'll be running this one, you'll notice that this is the result that is appearing. So you can see name, city, state, country, email. And if I go and inspect this out, this is how the rendered HTML looks. So that's how we display the data using our API from the database.